YouTube, Shuk and Shobi here with a review of the Ultraman Ginga DX Gun Pad. Uh, this is basically like an iPad that turns into a gun. Uh, used by the main, not the main character in the show, but one of the kind of secondary characters that uh, controls John 9 uh, in the show. John Killer at the time of this recording, but he'll eventually be John 9, it's a thing. Uh, and then John 9 uses the gun pad obviously, as seen on the front of the box here, to attack with in gun mode. So it's pretty neat um, all around. It's not, like, the coolest of things, but I actually really dig it because I like, like, tablets and guns, so that's always fun. So here we have the gun pad in its pad mode. Uh, nice little tablet. Obviously, it's just got little, like, dice-looking things here. Um, and nothing really on the screen, but... That's how it goes, I guess. It does take two AAA batteries in here. On and off switch is right here. So it is very thin in design. I can't really fault it for that, though. It's it's comfortable in the hand, at least. Um, in pad mode, each of these buttons has a different function. Come on, John 9! John 9. Uh, so that summons him. Crunch John Knuckle, which I assume activates like a punch or something. John Fight! John Fight, which I guess makes him fight, maybe? Change John Star! And change John Star to transform him into the uh, Starship mode John Star that we took a look at in the Ultra Chain series yesterday. Uh, so that is all for the pad mode. That's all it does, is those four different functions. Uh, so not really too incredible, but hey, it's a thing. Uh, to transform it, fold this down, fold that down, fold this back, front, press this button down, and here we have the gun mode, uh, which actually fits comfortably in the hand. The handle is just right for my hand. Might be a little bit too small for some people, but... Um, it's not that bad of a size. It's kind of like an oversized pistol sort of size. Uh, pretty neat. So it has one of the more realistic gun firing sounds. It's not like an obvious laser sound. It actually kind of sounds like a gun. So that's kind of cool, I think. Um, obviously, from this angle, you're looking at a kind of crappy looking thing. But from this angle, it looks kind of cool. And like before, all these have different functions. John Buster. John Crusher. John Crusher. John Stardust. Which basically just sounds like a complete barrage of bullets. And John Cannon. Which sounds like more barrages of bullets. So that is all your basic functions. Um, I know no easy way to get it back to the gun sound. Besides... Folding it back up and doing that. So that's where we stand uh, with that. Uh, not too bad of a gun mode. I think the gun mode's better than the pad mode. But that's kind of subjective, I think, but oh well. And to transform it back, it's just a simple flip, 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 flip. So that's all there is to it. It's not an overly expensive toy. I think it's about 2,400 yen on AmiAmi. I think it's about 3,000-ish normal retail. Uh, right around there. So it's not horribly expensive. Um, it's not particularly worth the price either. Um... Ami Ami's price isn't that bad. About $25 for something like this isn't awful. Um, but I wouldn't pay the full retail price for it. Like I said, it just doesn't have that much functionality compared to something like the Ginga Spark. I really do like the gun mode. I think it's uh, compact. I like the little sounds that it makes. Um, but overall, it's not the greatest of toys, but I don't particularly think it's awful either. It's just kind of a mediocre sort of release. If you're a fan of John 9 um, and want to pretend you're controlling him, then it's kind of a decent pickup. If you really like either of the two modes, then it's an alright pickup. But as it stands, it's not particularly worth the price, so 
it's a pickup if you want to sort of thing. But I do recommend it if you can get it on a sale. So that's about all. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.